and ready for another episode of Throwback Thursday. I'm here with Jimmy, uh, and we are going to be playing a game of Battlefleet Gothic. So Jimmy um, from Battleline Tabletop Gaming has decided he wants to try a game that was made almost before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty <Yeah>. close. <laughs> he asked me about Gothic. Um, he never played it before, so I rounded out uh, some ships that were in my bits box, and he's painting them up into a Chaos Fleet. So you play Nurgle in 40k, right? I do, yes. Cool. So now you, you have a fleet to actually carry your army. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. We used to play games um, uh, in the old Canadian office where uh, we would like link Battlefleet Gothic games, and then we would do like the planetary landings in like Epic, and then we play like city fights and stuff in 40k. And so you had to have the same army in all three scales. So you play all those games. It was super fun. Um, yeah. So I'm playing my Imperial Fleet, my ba like, literal Battlefleet Gothic, uh, and we'll be throwing down a thousand point game. So we're gonna do a just cruiser clash to uh, show Jimmy the ropes, and we'll uh, show you the the. Table the fleets and get this underway. So here's my thousand point fleet uh, leading the charge. We have a Mars class battle cruiser back here with my uh, fleet admiral on it, um, and then we have a dictator carrier right here. Just a cruiser with the old launch bays and weapon batteries. We have a lunar class cruiser and a gothic class cruiser, and then finally we have an escort squadron of three cobras for one thousand points. Here's Jimmy's Chaos Fleet, uh, led by a Devastation with a Chaos War Master of Slanesh on it, the, the Lord, the, the 100 point one with two rerolls. Um, then there is a Murder with the Plague Claw upgrade, so it drops one of its gun decks down to a Lance deck, uh, gets Dorsal Lances, additional Lances, or sorry, Prow Lances, additional Lances on the sides, and 45 centimeter range power four firepower um, gun decks. Then over here is a Slaughter Class Cruiser with a Chaos Lord of Nurgle. Um, and then four infidels rocking out some uh, some torpedoes as a escort squadron. So it's a thousand points, one war master slash somehow leading two two nerdly dudes into battle, and then some unmarked escorts. Rolling for deployments, uh, six to a two, cool. And let's do some uh, leaderships before we get too far along. So I'm going to start with my Mars, and it has. Leadership nine, sweet, better leadership than my fleet. Actually, no, the same as my no. One better than my fleet master. Uh, for my dictator, ha <laughs> ha six it is. Uh, over here for my lunar, it's going to be eight, and for my gothic, it's going to be uh, seven, and then for my escorts, it's going to be eight. Jimmy's got escorts with a eight. Your murder with a nine. Your devastation with a seven, but luckily your war master on there, so it's nine, and then your slaughter is gonna be an eight. In leadership tests, unfortunately <laughs> my carrier has a brand new crew apparently. So so there it is, so dice it off right now to see who's deploying first. I got a one, you got a five, so you can choose side and deploy your first ship. We'll be back after deployment. We're deployed, we've got the dictator and the lunar, or sorry, the gothic over here, uh, the lunar and the Mars, and then my escorts of um, cobras. You've got your infidels, your murder in the middle, uh, which is the plague claw and then your slaughter and your devastation onto the flank. So let's dice to see who's going first. And it's gonna be me. Do some orders. Uh, we're gonna start with Team Cobra and they're gonna get all head full. And they pass on an eight and they get to move 46 extra. Far going eight, 12, 15. So a total of 45. So this thing three times basically. So one, two, and three, and we're gonna use the asteroids to block our advance. A bit of a risk to send escorts through an asteroid field, but it does block line of sight for the circumference, and um, because they are escorts, they can reroll their morale check to see if they take hits or not. So with leadership eight, I'm pretty confident they can make it through there, and this should hopefully block the, uh, the onslaught. So um, we're gonna do some easy stuff. Just start moving forward, 15, and then another five for the Mars. Not gonna take any special orders. Much the same for the Gothic. 15 and five. Gothic is gonna try an all head full, and it does on an eight. No, it's a seven. Uh, so I'm going to reroll that with one of my fleet rerolls, and pass. I need to get up there, so an extra 46. That's going to be uh, 10, 14, so 34. We're gonna move this once. We're gonna move this twice and then four more up like so same on the dictator and it passes on its own morale so 46 extra 
Oof, I see none. So 10, 18. So it's going to be 38. So moving up once. Moving up twice. And then plus 8 to here. Happy with all the flanking maneuvers. We're then going to fire the Nova Cannon. So let's see if we have anyone in range. Uh, leadership 9. That is the Mars Roll to 9. Uh, so it is going to be able to shoot whatever it wants. I think we're going to try and drop one on probably your devastation. Yeah. So outside of 60 within 120. Let's see if we can hit this guy right in the stem. It's going to go backwards 6, which is a miss. We'll place a blast marker behind him. Any ordnance? This fellow is pretty happy where he is. So end phase, we remove that blast marker and it's over to you. So the infidels are going to go and they're going to just move up. They can go 30, yep. And now they're on the planet, so they can see past it. And they can turn up to 90. Moving up in a turn, sweet. And these are your torpedo boats, which means they could dump a whole salvo of torpedoes on me. Which is exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> Mr. Slaughter's going to go. He can move 30. He's going to move. Yeah, 30 and turn Take a pivot. this way. Sweet. Mr. Slaughter, or sorry, Mr. Devastation, gonna move up and he goes 25. Gonna make a pivot at the end. Yep. You all head full. Leadership of at least eight, because you're a cast lord. Yes. But also nine, because you just rolled better, so the crew's smarter than he is. No, no, the murder's. Uh, wait, nine slash eight, yeah. That's the murder, isn't it? <laughs> nope, that's the slaughter. Oh, you're, you're right, sorry. That's okay. It's because you, you got the upgun to one, which has the lance decks on it. Yep, you're good. Okay. And you also leadership 10 because I'm on, on the one special orders as well. So 46. And you're going an extra 18. So you're going 25 plus 18, which is 43. Zoom. Rushing into the middle so all the gun batteries can be in range. Uh, and then it's now into shooting. I'm going to go here first. Going to drop a mixed uh, wave of attack craft. What do you got in there? I, I have two fighters and two bombers. Sweet. Okay. And then um, any of the guns you want to fire? Maybe. Your, prow, your port lances over here. Yep. I'm or so those are starboard lances, but yes, <laughs> either way. So you're definitely within 60. Uh, you don't care about range modifiers, so it's just two dice on fours. Okay. I will not brace. Nope, we're lucky. These will be a problem if they get behind him, so he's going to try and get rid of them right now. So you get your slaughter, your murder, and your infidels left. Infidels? Yep. Um, shoot my torpedoes. It's an eight strength salvo. Still around, it'd be so cool if someone made like a little dialy one that mm -hmm. was just like it was this, it was the size of the torpedo template, but then had a dial on it for how strong it was. Someone should do that, <laughs> all right. And then you've got uh two firepower each or three, two, yeah, two each. So it's eight firepower. And who are you gonna fire at? If you can get you can test to shoot somewhere, you can yeah. shoot the closed one, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, that's cool. Um, so you are probably everybody within range can contribute. So stem to stem, that guy's just in range. I think your next one is out. So I just have So just the one. So it's yep. two against the capital ship closing. Roll a six. Take a shield down. Nope. So the this size lances are gonna shoot at the plate this guy yep. right here. I'm gonna measure that out to see if it's I think your batteries range. are probably in range too. You need your batteries first, take my shields down. Uh, four firepower, a beam. <coughs> so you're on five plus armor at least, but okay. you're over thirty, so it's one die. Roll five. Nope. This is, yep, on fours. One hits, shields go down. And I'm going to try to also shoot the infidels here. Cool. So another 45 lance. I think it's probably out of range. And so are the batteries. So and then you've got your 60 centimeter lan uh, front one, which could target either of these guys. I thought arc. it was out of the arc. Um, no, this, this guy's definitely an arc. The lunar is. For front. Yeah, so both of them. So Either what's the, one. So what's the difference between them right now? So this is my uh, battle cruiser with okay. launch bays, dorsal lances, and firepower batteries. Okay. This is a lunar. It has torpedoes, uh, lances, and firepower batteries. And this one's got a Nova cannon, but it's rapidly becoming irrelevant because we're too close. I'm gonna be shooting my 60 uh, centimeter um, lances. Lances at your lunar. Okay, cool. So four plus doesn't care about my prow armor. On two dice. You got it. Knock out some shields. Slow me down. Both shields. I think it's <laughs> this foul, but he's just 30 centimeters on everything, so you're probably mm -hmm. done. Uh, nothing to repair. All of your ordnance can now move. Oh, let's move in there's 20 on your plague claw bar, or your, what is it, your Doomfire Bombers. Mm -hmm. They can move up. And they will, of course, get to move during my turn, too. So we're just going to go right there. Okay. 
And then your torpedoes go 30, straight ahead, anywhere in your front arc. Let's see if they get anything. Just in front of me. They'll go right to there. Which is good, because you don't have to test for premature detonation, but you'll make me fly into them. Terrifying salvo of torpedoes, <laughs> eight strong. Uh, removable blast markers, so it's on to my next turn. And special orders are off. Let's do some movements. These fools are gonna all try and fly through here. So the first one is gonna go 30. And then pivot. No, nope, we're rolling because he's an escort. He's good, just on an eight. Uh, his friend will move next to him. Does he live? Yes. And his last friend, does he live? We're rolling because he's an escort. He's okay. Opening up the dictator, or sorry, the Mars rather. It's gonna go 10 up to here. And I think we're just gonna stay where we are. Ah, uh, you know what, we're gonna pivot and move like so. Further actually, and pivot. Down here, so a maximum of 15. So I'm gonna be able to move up just the length of this if I want, but I can go 10 to start, head to here. Go five more, and then we'll take a free pivot from the planet. The sound of inevitability. We're just gonna plow through this thing. Uh, and do we wanna lock on? We're gonna lock on, so let's try and lock on. Uh, that's a nine. You're on special orders, but I'm on, whatchamacallit, but I'm the Mars, and my loot ship is nine, so I'm good. And we're gonna head up 15, like so. Dictator. Uh, so I'm gonna get three turrets against these eight torpedoes and blow up two of them. So six attacks. Your torpedoes into my front armor of six. Now, Gothic is also gonna lock on on a seven. So I'm also locked on. I'm gonna go 20 and just fly by. So 15 to here. Five more up to there. All my movements, let's do some guns. Guns here, because we only have three firepower. We'll just drop a six strength torpedo salvo. Here, we will drop a six strength <laughs> torpedo salvo and then just start firing some guns, I guess. Five extra centimeters is gonna keep me from having crossed the TM within, not within 30 with my, uh, my side arc, so can't shoot these guys and we're out of range. It's gonna have to be torpedoes. So over here, I think it's just lances and launch bays for me. So we're gonna drop four fighter squadrons. I realized he's not locked on and that means neither is he. Because I, uh, that's not my, that's my dictator. My dictator's leadership six. It's an upside down nine. So I failed that roll to lock on, which means my special orders were done after that. The Nova Cannon's over here, Ash, and the Nova Cannon is what makes these ships different. So let's, uh, let's drop some lances into, oh, I don't know, let's say these fools. And they're six centimeters, so they're both within range. Two four pluses. And one dies. So shield down, and it'll blow up. So that is shooting done over here for the most part so it's just you guys well let's do the gothic because we couldn't lock on because i'm an idiot um <laughs> we're just gonna keep plowing into these guys these two i can see this one i can't just because of my arc so some lances four lance shots not locked on because i'm dumb yeah that's that's what would happen if they were locked on yeah we killed one Later, dropping his probably only flight of vessel or things he's gonna drop his torpedoes and his um Attack craft. You know what? No, we're just gonna drop torpedoes. Yeah, we'll drop both. We'll drop a um, attack wing squadron here of one fighter and three bombers. And then we'll drop a six rank torpedo salvo to the front. That's it, so it's ordnance phase. Uh, let's start over here. And these guys are gonna come plowing into you. Whoa. You've got three turrets though. Of course. One, so five are gonna hit you. Fives. Oof, Ooh. three. All right, so any crits? Nope, so just three damage goes down to five. Two keep going, and they're just gonna pop up the other side. Like that. They should be at maximum 30. And these ones are gonna go 30, so this twice, which means they'll land on top of you. Yeah. Turrets. Three again? Uh, nope, that one's got two, because it's just a cruiser. Fours. Nothing. Nope, would you like to brace? Yes. Okay. Can I brace even? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You just can't do a different order next turn now. Brace lasts until the end of your next turn. Ooh. Actually, no, no. I, I will not brace. You're going to you're gonna hope for it? Yeah, okay. I okay, then six attacks on fives. Mm, three. Okay. So you're down to five. Do I get any crits? No. How about the other side? On the other side of 30. So just like right there. Oops. These dudes are just going to intercept you. So if I'm within 20, which I'm pretty sure I am. Yep. 
or 30 actually, sorry, because they're fighters, so they just come off, four to four. And these six torpedoes, they're gonna go in such a way that they clip this guy first. Now, you were in base to base, which means you get to share turrets. So you're gonna get two turrets instead of one. So the first two, intercept one, so five attacks for that first torpedo. Uh, three though, so it kills him. Would you like to brace for the second one? Uh, yes. Okay. So only only two are getting through to hit him, and he'll get a turret against them. So make your leadership test to brace. Hmm? Make your leadership test to brace. You pass, so you braced. Uh, and then the last two attacks, oh, sorry, you still get a turret. I'll, I'll reroll that. Destroys one, so one attack. Doesn't kill. So that's just gonna fly at one strength over to there. It's these fools who go this, plus five. And then this one goes, don't roll a six. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. It's flying away. Do roll die. Just roll a six. Nope. So this is going to go to 30. I think it had four left. No, it had full strength. So it was, mm -hmm. I intercepted two. So it's six left. That is my turn. Blast markers come off. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Escorts are going to get behind me. Go on 30 and then turn in 90. So they can wolf pack me next turn. Just right here. Yep. So I'm going to lock on with both of these two. Okay, well, uh, start with one. Let's see if we get them. <laughs> Leadership uh, pretty good. Eight, yep. Nine, because I'm on orders. You're good. So no turn. No, you resolve him first. No turns. So he's locked on. He has to move at least 10. This no, you don't. You do his oh, movement. Oh, he's see, locked on. Okay, yeah, you have to complete every ship as you go. So your, your movement is 25. You don't have to move the whole thing, though. 12 and a half before you can turn. Right there. Okay. This one. Locking on. Does. Oof, he's a slaughter, so 30 if you want. If you want to just get all the way up here and be locked on right next to me. So you can cross the T totally. There you go. And I'll probably fly by you. I'm going to try to reload ordnance. Cool. Leadership is... Uh, nine. Plus one, because I'm on orders. Ten, you're good. It's 25. So I'm just going to move straight ahead. Yep. <laughs> and then turn. No, you just move. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Just like that. Yep. Any, any further? No, I just want to shoot these guys. Sounds good. Ah, who's shooting first? This one. I'm going to okay. release its uh, ordinance. Attack wave, yep. And I can't remember if he has both guns and lances. Left, front, right, firepower batteries going to the Cobras on fours. You get two, so that's one dead. Lance on the side, gonna try and kill these attack craft on a six. Get it! Two dice or one? Two dice. You need a six. Oh, no. oh, oh. Austria, sure. yep. On fours? Nope. These fellas, who wants to go first? Shoot the lunar, don't have to test then. Uh, so you get four firepower batteries um, against a capital ship closing, and you are locked on. So three dice. Three dice. Looking for sixes. Reroll misses, so reroll the whole thing. Looking for sixes. One shield down, almost there. And then you get your lances. Lances on fours. Both, so one hit goes through. What is your critical damage? See if you get that six. Oh. Um, Other side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna shoot the weapons Dictator. battery first. Sure, go for it. And then the lances. So you're over 30 at a capital ship of beam. So you have four dice, which is gonna go to one. One dice. Looking okay. for a five though, because in the flank. And rerolling because you're locked on. Nope. nope. So and then you got the two lances. lances, yep, on fours. And both shields are down. Of course, that's lunar. With your lance gunboat locked on here. Our power through bad ship uh, goes to uh, six for closing and then four for a bad ship for the blast markers on sixes. Reroll everything because you're locked on. And we're okay. Oof. <laughs> and now it's four lances. I'm really tempted. I have seven hits left. You're locked on, so I think I'm gonna brace. Um, and I'll pass. 14 strength for your weapon batteries. You should have had four more. Okay. Or six more for your front, which would have meant that you actually have three more dice. Roll okay. three more dice looking for sixes. There's oh. one, and then reroll the two misses. Two, so two looking for crits. This is before I locked on, I'm down to five. 
No crits. Lances. Looking for fours and roll the miss. So both, because you knocked that one over, it was already a four. So uh, look at or my braced. Pass one, fail one. So one roll for a crit. I'm crippled though, down to four. No crit. All flashed. It's out of line of fire, but you could try and kill these attack craft. Which I will. That's looking for sixes. Kill them. All dead. Attack craft, gonna head off 20, flying towards these guys. There. And these fly 30 and oh, yeah. head back to there. Those go off the table. Yeah. They just go away. This flies 30 towards the planet. Table. Technically could take two shots before you do ordinance actually into my shields down bum here. Okay. Uh, you've got two firepower because you're having right now. Or they're firepower two, that's right. Mm -hmm. So two into a capital ship moving away through blast but within 15 is probably one die. Uh, goes to one, yeah. Roll a die. See if you hit him. Roll five. Do extra point damage. You do. <laughs> is it a crit? It is. What kind of crit? Oh my god. Why did I even mention this to you? Roll 2d6. It's a 9. So bridge smash. Minus 3 leadership. Can't reload. I'm leadership 3. Confident captain is killed immediately. Wow. Some retribution on the chaos fleet there. Uh, roll d6 for blast markers. And it's just those two. I'm not touching anybody. Well, we're not feeling so good over here. And I'm really tempted to disengage. But not before we, we murder some folk. So first things first, let's reload the Mars on a nine. And we box guard, so we're gonna use our fleet reroll from the fleet admiral. And box guard again. No more special orders for me, and no more reloaded ordnance. So I guess we brawl till we fall. Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna fly into the middle of this mess. And five more. Don't really have a choice now. We we need to not get boarded and also kill you. So <laughs> and hopefully not die. So I'm not gonna take a free turn. I've I'm crippled, so I'm only movement 15. So I can at most move 10. Oh, I'm tempted to just disengage. And I can't take any special orders, but I'm braced at least. <laughs> Let's just go forward. 10, like so, and we'll pivot. It's, I mean, your leadership three. It's not like you were gonna do anything. So let's uh, let's take our free order to our free turn towards the center of the planet here, um, and I can move fifteen. So I'm gonna go up to here and then pivot again. Forty-five. Return towards the middle of the planet. I'm gonna go twenty to there and pivot again. Can't reload you fools either, which means we have to run. We have to run outside of 20 of you, which isn't hard, but the problem is getting relevant again. I gotta go backwards. Yeah, we're gonna pivot and we're gonna go 30 and not die. We're okay. We'll fly 15 and 15. Try not to die. Uh, same with him. He's gonna go 30. Try not to die going through the asteroid field. We're okay. And he'll next to his friend. It's like that. Ugh. Okay. Well. It could have been worse. Much worse, but it could have been worse. Uh, so let's do some killing of the first kind, followed by killing of the second kind. This would have been a really sweet uh, turn to have ordnance, but I don't have any. So I guess we just start shooting. You little fella, you're gonna drop a strength three torpedo salvo, because you can. Because that's all you got left, because you're crippled. And then we're gonna fire our now three strength firepower batteries into him. Closing two. What do we got? Fives. Take a shield. Lance. Take the other shield. Put the shields down. Well, that's that's happened. Uh, now we will, I guess, attempt to loot to sorry to Mars you. Um, we can go both ways here. So we'll do this firepower battery first. So it's six moving away within fifteen. So it counts as closing. That's gonna be four dice. Would've been nice to be locked on, on fives. Nothing through way. Same thing, except uh, shift doesn't work out. This time you're just closing, because I'm within 15, but you're through boss markers now, so just four dice. On fives. Two. Uh, so two hits, down to three, you're crippled. Nope. Uh, and then two lances, do you want to brace? I, I need to start asking you this, because um, I think you keep forgetting you can do it. <laughs> Hit me? Okay. Did you hit me? 
Uh, you have to roll. You have to roll before to see if you're braced oh, or not. I see. You pass. So you're braced. Okay. One hit. Four plus to save it. Nope. And is it a crit? It is. Mm. Uh oh. Uh oh. So you're down to two. If I roll an eleven or twelve, you might just collapse. I roll a ten, which is not enough. Your shields collapse though. Your shields are reduced to zero for the rest of the game. Well, you're done, uh, and you're done, so... Oh no, I can do... Oh no, I didn't hit you at the firepower ring this way. And I'm empty because I've launched all my ordnance and I couldn't reload. Everything else out of range to finish this guy off, so we're gonna go over to here. Uh, we will start off with Team Dictator. So he's got... Firepower batteries. We're in range, but we're gonna go through these blast markers. So it's gonna be six against escorts of beam with a bad shift. It's not gonna be a lot of dice. It's gonna be one die on a five. Ha! Nope. Uh, and then I got four lances from the Gothic into this squadron. Just on fours. Do you want to brace? No. Okay. One shield goes down. Okay. Well, it could have been better. It could have been worse. So we're going to drop the torpedoes. So into here. Would you like to target torpedoes? I don't have any attack Same as well. Yep. Cool. Uh, so you get. Three. That's just two. two. That's a regular okay. cruiser. The carriers have three. Fours. Two, so just one attack. Doesn't do anything. So then it comes through here, and you hit your two dice again against one one remaining torpedo. It's just sad. They just get destroyed. They did nothing. Well, okay then. And sorry, actually, he would have only fired three halved and halved again. Because he was braced, actually. So halved and halved again. That would have been still one lance. I don't know what my firepower would have been for the batteries, though. Because it was six goes to three goes to two. I think it still would have been one die. She only would have, it's a good thing the torpedo doesn't do anything there because it would have been three halved down to two and you would have killed them all in the first <laughs> first engagement. Yeah, because he was braced on top of being, being whatchamacallit. Um, so I think that's my turn. Blast markers, two. We'll take, I guess, these ones. That's it. Right, you have ordinance as well. So go ahead and move those guys. Are these ones? They're just going to fly away. Okay. Yeah, those will fly away, but these guys can start chasing going 20. Let's see here. Remember, you're going to need to go get in your turn before I move. So you can effectively attack me from 40 away. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to go this way instead. Okay. These are going to fly past us now, so they're just going to be yeah. on next next ordinance phase. Yeah. Yep. Minus one because you're in contact with Blast, plus one because I'm on. Actually, I'm not on orders. So it doesn't matter with three. A free turn to move not to like turn towards the planet 90 if you want at the start of your move. Then you could move yeah. 30 and 25, and then you can still turn again afterwards if you want. So this one's gonna move here yep. and then turn. Yep, you can. You could have done this either either way because you're ending within 15 of it too, just turn towards the middle of the planet. Perfect. Seven and a half before you can turn here, because your movement's uh, reduced for being crippled and for being in contact with blasts. And you get one turn. Uh just turn this way. Okay. Moving your slaughter. So it goes 30, so 15 before it can turn. And then make your turn. And then you're gonna move another 15 and then make your free turn towards the planet. You can't do that first, you have to do that second. Right, yeah. The end end of your move. Yeah, you got it. 15. And then make your free turn. There you go. 12 and a half with your murder. Make your regular turn. Move another 12 and a half. Again, you can turn towards the planet if you want. No, you have to go on a straight line. Oh. Yeah, there you go. And then make a free turn towards the planet. Souls. So you drop your four torpedoes. Yep. Uh, it doesn't matter which one it goes from. It has to go from the furthest one. Furthest yeah. one. Okay, I guess there that's this go. one here. Yep. It's going to go. You want to do it in between, so it hits both when it overruns. Yeah. You got it. Perfect. So, um, or so you have to make a leisure test, try and shoot something further away. Yep. You want an eight. And you're going to try and shoot my dictator. And you fail, so you have to shoot the lunar. Okay. You could uh, use a reroll to reroll that. Yeah, I think I will. you've got your. You only have one for the game, though. Yeah, that's okay. Or so you have two because you have a second level character. So you're just using one of your two because you have a leadership nine, Lord. Yep. You pass with a nine? Oh, okay. Oh, no, you're eight. Yeah, are eight, they so eight or eight? They are eight. That's right, eight. yeah. Because it's not a special order, so you don't get the bonus. Okay, so I'm shooting him. And it's one each, correct? So they are firepower two each, so it combines to four. So four against a capital ship moving away with a good shift. Looking for fives because it's my rear armor. One shield. Firepower batteries, you have one die. Uh, and him on a five. Okay. And then you say you're gonna put your lance over here. So go for it. So five. Yeah. Nope. And then your lance on a four. 
So these four batteries from your murder into my moving away lunar. So moving away uh, is four goes to three. two, but within 15 goes back to three. Okay. So three dice. I am not going to brace. No, I have one shield right now because I'm crippled. I am going to brace. Yeah, I'm going to brace. <laughs> I fail. So I'm not braced anyway. Go for it. Uh, one shield. Shield goes down. Lance. I'm going to try and brace again because I can lance. I can try and brace with each attack. And now I'll pass and I'm braced. Lance says that's right. On fours. Two hits. Braced for impact. Well, it goes to one. Is it a critical? Nope. So I'm down to three hits. 14 batteries um, within 30, but then uh, capital ship moving away and a uh, bad shift for the three blast markers. Yeah. So 14 moving away, five dice. Okay, on five. I'm gonna take that shot. Go for it, fives. And two. two, braced. One, is it a crit? It is, uh oh, uh oh, don't bucket class me. Both the dice. That's a six, which is going to be engine room damage down to one, and I cannot make any turns. Lances, this is it. You could kill me. Go for it. Fours. No. Oh, I got horribly wrong. One hit left. We're holding together with the lunar. Uh, and I think that is all your guns. Craft. It's your ordinance wave. Are you within 20? Oh, just out. Just out. That sucks. So you could attack the Mars if you want, though. Or what about these guys? You are just in to attack that one ship. Remember, you go into one ship though. Mm -hmm. You can split it into two attacks against. Oh, and this is ships. halved because I only have one. Up. Oh, that's right. Start the run space. You only have two launch bays yeah. left. So you decide what it's composed of. It could be all bombers or one fighter, one bomber. But what you might want to do is just have it be two bombers and then split them to go each attack one of these guys. Yeah. And then it's a it's a 50 50 chance I kill them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. <clears throat> So the first one. I mean, you can go over here too. Mm -hmm. It's so I have three turrets on this. I just remembered I have two turrets on each of these guys right now until you kill one because they're sharing turrets because they're in base to base. Okay. So you could keep it as one wave. That's probably the best way to try and get through and kill at least one. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. Let's see if my turrets get through. No, I kill them both on the way. Oh, home. okay. If one had gotten through, that was probably gonna wreck that squadron. Um, and then you're over here. Does this explode going through the blasts? Oh, right. Yeah. One d six. Yep. Just don't roll six. No, no premature detonation. So I got two turrets on the Gothic. I kill one, so three attack me on a five. You do nothing. And then two turrets on the uh, Dictator. Kill two more, so one attack against me. And does nothing. And so one torpedo flies at 30 to here and sits in front of us. Just in nope. front or just the back? No, just from, from the front because you place oh, it okay. first and then you move from the front, so you're fine. Yeah, you had it perfect. Yeah. Uh, so then, where are we gonna go this turn? So your brace goes away here. I'm still braced though, because I did brace. And the Lunar's almost dead, so I think I gotta take, oh, Blast Markers, that's right. Yeah. We lose four, so there's three here that you could take. There you go. Possibly Boxcar again to reload Ordnance. No, we do, okay, thank God. <laughs> so they reloads. Uh, then do my torpedo boats reload. They do. Reload again, I think, with you. Because the Gothic hasn't fired them yet. Oh, no, your leadership three, though. I mean, it's the last thing to do. Uh, he could lock on. He is going to lock on. And he's leadership seven goes to eight. So I am out. Can't do anything. Easy stuff. We're going to pivot and go 30. And go 30. Move him back slightly. Uh, we are going to just move, I guess, our 15. And then attempt to disengage. Leadership 8. There is nobody within 15 of me. Uh, and so we are going to be rolling on a, I guess, leadership of 8. Because my bridge isn't smashed. Just my engine room's damaged. I can't make any turns. 8. We're good. Lunar disengages. And I think that is going to be this side. Let's go over here. Uh, we're going to take you and we're gonna go 10, which is our base movement to here. We're gonna take our turns. We don't fly into our own torpedoes. And then we're gonna go another, 
a 10, I guess, because we had no blast markers on this. So to here, a free turn towards the planet, like so. The Gothic can go 15, which will go to here, make our turn, and then make our free turn towards the planet. All right, so shooty shoot phase. Uh, let's start making the killy death. So your shields are collapsed here, which is good news for me. Um, so we're gonna start with the dictator and he's gonna try and kill you. Three shiv beam, you're gonna brace, makes uh, sense. Uh, nine, what's your leadership? Nine. You're good, so you're braced. Two a beam on fives, one hits. Can you brace it? Down to one. Is it a crit? Let's see if we can get the sweet, sweet crit and kill you. Whoa, it is! Uh -oh. Give me a six, an eight, or an 11 or 12. Or not a three. Your starboard armament is damaged. Empty torpedo tubes, a, br a smash bridge. I'm I'm just impressed this thing's holding it together as well as it is with its bridge smashed. And it's leadership of three. Um, so we're gonna go back to over here right now. The lunar's gonna go, it's gonna drop a torpedo salvo. At strength six, because it can, just in case this doesn't work. Uh, then it's gonna fire all of its lances over here. Okay. Leadership of eight, I believe. So nine more orders, goes to nine. Leadership of eight, yes. You're good, you're braced. And I got four lances on fours. There's one. So brace the shield. You're and good. over here, we're gonna go. We're just not gonna fire. Oh, you know what? No, because we're, oh, we're left front right though. We might kill you. Let's do it. Your, your ship got a lucky crit. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do two firepower into a capital ship closing. You don't have shields. And a five. Nope, you're fine. And then we'll drop our torpedoes right in front of us. This big mamma jamma. Uh, we're going to drop our launch phase, three and one. And then we're gonna light you up with some weapon batteries. So it's six batteries, uh, capital ship a beam, but with a good shift. So it goes to two, goes back to three. Which one is it into? Into your almost dead ship. <laughs> On fives, race. You don't. Ah, so you destroyed. So what happens? You eight become a blazing hulk. It means the rest of the guns are kind of futile because I can't. Oh, I guess I could fire my dorsal lances at these guys, which I will. So two sixty centimeter lances. So over here on fours and potato. One. So one shield, unless you brace it. Laughs. I'm the torpedoes. Do you want to stop torpedoes or do you want to stop assault boats? Assault boats are, uh, are boarding parties. No, no, sorry, the bombers. Bombers. You can, oh, you, can, you, can, you can fight, you can shoot your turrets at attack craft or, or torpedoes, but not both in the same turn. So which one would you like to target? It's okay, because he's hoping that other ones aren't in range. Yep. <laughs> Go for it. And kill two. So only two get through on fives. You're fine. So then they fly through. And up over here. Down to two. Kind of futile now. So I can aim them anywhere in my front arc. Uh, I don't want to accidentally detonate that thing. <laughs> I'm just going to aim them over here. I guess I could aim them at you. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just move them 30 this way. Aim them this way. And it's going to be, oh, geez. That's going to be fifth. Oh, God. You're the worst of this, Ash. 15. And then 15. You're not going to be here in a second, but it's worth firing them out of my own way. Why within 20? That is definitely going to be within 20. So let's see if we explode going through the stuff. We don't. So you're you're not going to be able to stop these because you shot at torpedo or at um, torpedoes. So it's going to be 3d6 minus 1 to each of the rolls because I have one thing of fighters in there. So you suffer one, two, three, four, five attacks. No. Okay. Five, five pluses. Nothing. Oh, you're lucky. Let's fly up 30 to here. And that's turn. One. And take a free turn. Start your move towards the middle. Yep. And then 15. You just fly past me. So I assume you don't want to board me. Oh, sorry. Is this the one that has the 12 in or that's got five inch the murder has a um, 25 inch move, yeah. Or centimeter, rather. Centimeter, yeah. So this here. And you can take another turn if you want. Yep. Perfect. And this one's going to turn. Does he want to move anymore? Or he's going to stay there. He's, he's going to stay there. Cool. Yeah. So he could lock on and, and use his free turn to turn towards the planet. <laughs> yep. 
I think he's not. Just roll. See if you get a nine or less, because I'm on orders. You're fine. So you take a free 45, and then you get to move your up to 30. 15 in the middle. Which is right here. Yep, so you're not blocked by the planet. First. Yep. Up to 90. Just gonna move there. Head to the middle. Yep. 3d6. 3d6? Yep. Okay. And then leave a blast. So he goes 17. Just probably to about there. Let's just check. Look God at that. damn it. <laughs> Carpenter's eye, and then drop a blast behind him. Four. Going with the infidels first. Going to dump four shots into my Three dictator. shots, actually, because uh, it's moving away. Oh, sorry. You're braced. So two. Two. And then within 15 for a good shot. So two goes back to two. No, it's, okay. it's three goes to two, back to two. Okay. On fives, because it's side. Nothing. 14 against the cat with the slaughter is going to fire. 14 batteries into my rear here. Is shooting through that? Uh, no, because it's into me. Okay. Send a stem. Okay, so 14. Cattle shoot moving away. Goes down to 10. And that's it. On five with rerolls. How many you need? Uh, two more. Two more? There you go. Thank you. Going for fives. And rerolling everything. There you go. So three, reroll your misses. I'm Almost going six. to. Yeah, it's too late to brace now. <laughs> Fives. So, five. So, three hits get through and my shields drop. It's probably should have braced this. Two crits! Two. Is a oh, no. nine. A nine. That's oh, going to be my bridge smashed. The ship of nine goes down to six now. And the second one... Is eight, eight, which is going to be thrusters damage. I take an additional point of damage. So, I go to f I'm crippled now down to four. And uh, yeah, you uh, have a minus 10 to speed. This is good to go. So now I'm going to brace, which I should have done already, and I pass on a six. I got to roll four. So I'm now braced, and you can try and mess this guy up. What? Force, real misses. Real miss. Nope, one. Braced! Nope, goes down. Is it a crit? It is! Oh my god, just exploding crits all over me. Don't buck, don't up, don't buck. That's five, okay. Prow armament damaged. My Nova Cans shut down. Fool gets to shoot as well, yep. Right here. So you've got your batteries. My shields are down. Uh, you're fully operational, so you should have, I think, when you come, oh no, he has front lances, doesn't he? So he's just got, I think, six batteries in this, or four batteries, because he dropped it for lances. Mm -hmm. So four batteries, and then uh, two lances. Your batteries are capital ship moving away. Three blasts, one die on a five, and then two dice, two lances on fours. A five. Nope, oh. and then two lances on fours. This could kill me if you get a good critical. One. Do I brace? I do. It's like it, no ordinance to move except for these fly to the asteroids and die. Uh, these fly over to here and don't do anything. It's gonna be bad. Well, my Mars, my battle cruiser is now crippled. And that is not where I want to be. I'm also gonna be able to try and repair. So I half this because I've got uh, two blast markers on me. And I don't fix my thrusters, so I'm not going very far, which means it's going to be real hard to get away. So I'm going to move 10, because uh, I'm minus 10, down to 5 because of this thing. So I will be able to try, I'll get plus 2 to my leadership, but then minus 1 for each of the ships within 15. So my leadership 6 to try and get away if I try and disengage. It's, it's going to be close. Now, let's do some, some special orders, I guess. We're going to lock on. Heck yeah, we do. And then we're going to move just our 20. And just go to here, I guess. We'll move him in a second. He's he's basically saying exactly where this guy is. Um, he's going to just... I mean, it's a leadership 3 to, to reload my ordnance right now. Uh, these guys need to reload first. So they're going to try and reload on an 8. And they fail. Oh, no, you're on order. So 9, so I'm good. Um, we'll use our first move to go like this. Uh, we're going to go, and we're going to take the free turn towards the middle of the planet, actually, for that. We're going to go to here, and then we're going to turn. And then the same thing, towards the planet, move another 90. That's just this jerk. I mean, leadership three, real ordinance. Ah! <laughs> I did it! And it's a four, actually, because you're on special orders. I can't believe that happened. Tanner, you're the best! <laughs> Alright. Uh, so he's just going to move his 20 straight ahead. And end up right there. Oh, jeez. And he's where he was sitting, actually, so he's just going to be right there. Locked on. 
It's full, moves five. Uh, and then he gets, I think, let's just see if I'm within 15. So I have to move five, which is a little bit further. And then, am I within 15 of any enemy ships? These guys, no. So leadership, nine goes to six, seven, eight because of this. I disengage. All right, this is getting this is getting spicy. So we got two ships to play with here, plus my escort squadron. We'll start with the escorts, I guess. They are going to drop their torpedoes for salvo again, like that, so they can clip both, and then just try and strip a shield off this guy. Two cattle ship moving away, uh, but within 15. So one die on a five. We got a shield. One, uh, then. Drop. I can't believe you reloaded. You're my favorite thing in the world right now. And you reloaded your torpedoes too. So we're gonna drop a six strength salvo of torpedoes plus all of our ordnance. I'm gonna bother pounding the rack because it's gonna explode and hit us if we do. Uh, and then it's just this and we're locked on the lances. Do you wanna brace? Them? Yeah. No. No? Okay. Force. Reeling all my misses. Kill them! Two, so one dies. Hey, okay, uh, it's all of our shooting, so ordnance phase. We're gonna move these torpedoes first. Would you like to shoot torpedoes? I would, yes. Okay, would you like to brace? Yeah, I might as well. Okay. So bracing. Uh, yep, your leadership is pretty good right now. Yep, you're braced for sure. And then you got two bat or two um, turrets, trying to shoot those down. Yep. You get two of them, so two attack you on fives. One hit, brace. No, it goes through, is it a critical? No. It goes through to him, does it explode in the blast marker? It does not, so you can try and turret it. With him? Yeah, with this guy. Nope, oh yes, yeah, it's destroyed, it's gone. Vito Salvo, it's gonna hit him first, so would you like to try and... I already did the last one, didn't I? You can, all, you can shoot every wave that attacks oh, you okay, of the same okay. type. Okay. So this guy gets two dice. Kills one, down to five. Do you want to brace? Yes. Okay, bracing. You pass, so he's also braced. He's on fives. One, one brace. No, down to four, you're crippled. Mm -hmm. And then, is it a crit? It is not, so then four attack him. So you get your two things again. None, so four attacks on fives, you're already braced. Two, see if you brace him, four plus. Bracing for impact, gets both, he's good. So then two just fly out to 30, which is about here. Fighters and bombers, you got one turret now, cause you've been, you've been crippled. So okay. one shot on a four, kill that fighter wing, does. Uh, but then it's still three at no modifier because you're being suppressed by the fighters as they go in. So 3d6 attacks, you're already braced. Ugh, seven. On fives. Three. Three braces. You're not gonna die from this. Nope. Two go through, so you're down to two. And then... Give me some crits. Bucket claps. Oh, it's a crit! What happens? Shazam! It's a five. Just to prowl armor damage. That's it, I really wanted to kill one of this turn, but I just crippled him instead. So it is a blast markers, five. So all these, and that's over to you. He's gonna reload ordnance. Okay. He does. And then move just. He's just gonna move, well, let's see where 30 is. Yeah, he's gonna move right over here. Okay. You just have to move first. Okay. Uh, you are. Crippled, so your speed normally is on a slaughter is 30 yep. minus five or minus five being crippled and then minus five for the blast marker. So you can move 20 before you go. That should be good, and that's whatever your base leadership is because I'm not is nearby. That a slaughter, I think that's a slaughter. Uh, sorry, you're gonna get plus one leadership because you're within 15 now of a celestial phenomenon. So see what you got. 11? Oh, yeah, no, he doesn't. No, yeah, doesn't I quite get it. I still have a reroll though, don't I? You do, yeah, you can roll it for sure. Any leadership test. <laughs> he gets new dice. <laughs> Superstition. <laughs> yeah, he's gone, so he's disengaged. So put him on the other side, because he's not killed. He moves 3d6, probably crashes into this moon. So roll 3d6 and see what happens. Because if he rolls low, he might not. And does, so that's going to be 8. So crash into the moon. So he's destroyed, destroyed, so he'll go on the destroyed side. 345 at the start, because you're next to the moon. 
You gonna lock on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I can't unbrace. Oh, you're braced. That's right. Yeah. So you're just gonna move. Can't do any other order. So this is the one that moves third. Oh, uh, that's the slaughter. Okay. It moves thirty normally. Yeah. Okay. So fifteen. Sorry, that was the murder that disengaged. I'm sorry. He could have moved five less, but it's fine. You still made it within fifteen. That thing. Make another turn and then move over to there. Yep. Okay. And I think that's you, uh, Faze. So you gonna start with him? Yep. Drop a two strength torpedo salvo. And I guess you could shoot a gun, but it just makes you at risk of premature detonation. So it would just drop a shield. It's kind of yeah. pointless. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, or unless you want to try and shoot over here. You've got uh, four plus three is nine. I mean, you have nine firepower right now, mm -hmm. but it's capital ship of beam. Okay. Go for it on a five, one die. One die. Oh, uh, two moving. Yeah, still one. Oh, oh, not this guy. This guy, I mean. Yeah, but if you're going to shoot him, you might as well try and drop. True. Okay, yeah. I'm going to shoot him. So on five. Nope. nope. And then over here. Yep. So you've got eight halves to four and then six halves to three. So seven firepower. Sorry. Eight fourth. Yes. Oh, and you're braced too, actually. Well, that's why you're. That's what that's right. That's why you're halved. So eight on the side plus six would be seven against capital ship beam will be two dice, 15, so it's gonna be four dice. So four dice, looking for fives. Get the shield. Lance, which could get my other shield on a four if you want. Might as well. Don't nope. win. Yep. yep, I got three turrets, and we blow them up. Get removed. It's gonna be two, so just those two. Okay, it's gonna get sporty. <laughs> <laughs> so, special orders. Uh, these come off. Let's start with you guys. Can we reload? Uh, 10, we're out of rerolls, so no we can't. That's all my special orders. Well, that was unfortunate. So I guess we just, we don't have any ordnance. We have a puny amount of guns. We have no torpedoes. We just try and YOLO some folks. So we're gonna, I'll start with you. You fools just gonna get in behind. Like that, and like that. Uh, you have nothing reloaded. So it's literally just move 10, pivot. You move 10, pivot, move 10. Firepower two, uh, capital ship moving away. Council's closing now because you're right in the rear. So it's gonna be one die on a five, <laughs> nothing. Uh, six goes to Moving away, three, with well, a shift is four. So four dice on fives, trying to drop your shields. <laughs> Nothing. And then four lance into this guy? You wanna brace? No. Okay. You're dead. <laughs> and then four lance into this guy? You wanna brace? No. <laughs> okay. Nothing. D6 blasts, all blasts are gone. Back to you. Disengage, sure. Yeah. So you just move 30 straight ahead and then make a normal leadership test if you want. Actually, if you can get within 15 of this, you can go like 15, turn 15, you'll get plus to your leadership. 15, turn. Yeah, and then just 15 into it. I think you're gonna be fine. Six. You're within 30. Yep. So roll that die, plus your leadership. Peace out. Oh, I control the battlefield, but there's no hulks to claim. Um, so the disengage pile for me is gonna be worth, they were both crippled when they left. So that's my Lunar uh, and my Mars. 500 with my Admiral, but only 25% of that. It's gonna be 125 you score off them. Uh, and then you killed a Cobra, so 165 total. You managed to kill your Devastation, which I think had your Warlord on it. <coughs> it's 100, uh, 290, and then his Mark I think is 25, so that's gonna be 315 I score off that. Plus 160 goes to 475. Whatever these guys are worth, uh, I get, they were crippled when they left. No, one wasn't one was crippled. crippled. One was crippled, so he wasn't crippled. So I only get 10% of him, which is, he's 255, the murderer? So I'm gonna get, I'll get 25 points for him. And then uh, he was crippled and he is 245, so I get 25% of that, so I get 63. 560 points for me to 165 for the Chaos Fleet. So there we go, end of the game. Uh, victory for the Imperium, but it was looking pretty dicey there when my, my poor, poor uh, Mars almost died in one round. If you'd killed that thing, that was the difference in 300, no, 
more than that. It's 295 plus my generals on there. Like 350 points. I think that won you the game if you killed yeah, it. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was huge, a huge swing there almost. As I have to remember, as soon as you get to like 10 dice locked on, I just have to brace. Even though I'm completely healthy, because you can just obliterate something with, with locked on looking for fives. Um, yeah, your fleet's, I like your fleet. It's got some of my favorite ships in it. It's got the, the murder. Um, upgun with some lances, the slaughter, which is always a decent ship, and you don't see the devastation very often because usually, if someone's taking that, they're taking a sticks instead for double launch bays. Because mm -hmm. then you're dropping eight strong attack craft wings on people, and it's yeah. really hard to stop. Um, but the devastation is pretty robust because it can still drop attack craft, but it's got some teeth too with its lances and weapon batteries. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you for more BFG in the future next time. This is Jimmy. I'm Ash. Have a I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbed Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.